we are going to be taking a look at the fastest free to play car on a Dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So for this car, the only thing that you need is this Humvee right here because we're going to be combining the van with the Humvee. So we're going to be taking this van and then we're going to be taking some of the parts from the Humvee and tossing it inside. So make sure you get this car, equip it, and then hop into the game. Also, if you don't have this car right here, you still have like a week to get it. But anyway, let's hop into the game. We are going to be testing it on the planes map because it's super easy to test the max speed on the planes map. But anyway, grab a canister of gas and what we're going to do is we're going to toss two regular wheels in the front so just two small wheels we can also go ahead and attach the doors so for the back wheels we are going to be using the big wheels so those wheels in the shed right over there we are going to be attaching them to the back so let's go ahead and start grabbing them and we're also going to grab the engine from the humvee so the humvee over there we're just going to grab the engine from it and for these big wheels we're just going to toss them on the back so two small wheels in the front and then two big wheels in the back also the humvee over there does actually come with an extra canister of gas so we can always take that and have a total of 18 liters of gas in our car also i did test it out and if we use the van it actually doesn't drain our gas so if you use the humvee the humvee actually uses a crazy amount of gas but the van itself does not which is actually crazy op as well anyway let's toss this last wheel right there there we go and now we'll just fuel it up and then once we finish fueling it up we'll go ahead and grab the engine from the humvee i now finished fueling up the van so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the gas canister and the engine from the humvee and we can actually just push over the engine just like this so then we don't have to make two trips back and basically we're just gonna toss this engine in the van so grab this let's crack open the door and let's just toss it in the middle so there we go just place it right there and also we do need a radiator so we'll just take the radiator from this car over here and then we'll just toss it in the van right there and now let's just finish filling it up and this should be enough gas to get us to 35,000 meters but anyway once you finish this is what your car should look like but anyway small wheels in the front big wheels in the back the humvee engine in the middle and then just a radiator in the front and now let's go ahead and start driving so this car actually does go super fast it does take like a couple seconds to like actually accelerate but once we're fully accelerated we go like 220 miles per hour so it does take like 10 seconds to go max speed but as we can see we are going max speed now which we are zooming which you really don't need to go any faster than this because if you go any faster then it just becomes hard to control so this right here is just perfect and also we do want to put something on the roof i forgot to mention that we do want to toss something on the roof so then whenever we flip over we can easily just push over by hand and then we don't even have to worry about flipping over also you don't have to worry about bringing in an extra canister of gas for the bridge because i actually tested this car out before and we are able to skip the river with it so we're just able to drive straight through the river without dying meaning that we don't gotta use the little boat to cross the bridge i'm now in a new game because in the previous game my car actually flipped over and i forgot to attach something to the roof but since i'm in the new game right here i can show you all how to flip it over so basically just attach something to the roof before you start driving such as a wheel and then if you flip over your car will be at slant so then all you have to do is remove the wheels so just remove the two wheels on the side that you're gonna flip it over to and then all you gotta do is push it and it's super easy there we go so it's super easy to flip back over just make sure you have something on the roof such as this right here once again the wheel is like the best thing you can have on the roof but anyway let's just keep driving all the way to 5,000 meters though we're now getting close to 5,000 meters and you do want to start to slow down so we are able to drive through the river but just make sure you don't go too fast or else you will crash and you will flip over so anyway start driving and you are able to go across the river just like this but we actually aren't able to drive up this directly because it's too steep so we actually need to back up onto it so just go backwards and then you should easily be able to go up it just like this and there we go so we aren't able to go up it directly because the wheel in the front are too small but we are able to back up because the wheels in the back are much bigger allowing us to go over it and now we're able to just keep going so we don't have to waste any time or gas crossing the bridge over there which is awesome but anyway let's just keep driving and now let's just drive all the way to like 15,000 meters we now made it to 13,000 meters and we did find a diner so we'll go ahead and loot this place in just a second first off let's check our gas so we do still have 11.9 liters of gas that's actually pretty good so we traveled 13,000 meters and we only used six liters of gas so overall that's that's pretty good we did run out of water though which does kind of stink so this car will probably be better on the desert map because on the desert map whenever you reach 15,000 meters you have an outpost where you can stack up on water oil and all that stuff but over here we don't so we do gotta stop at places to find it and we'll let's kill all these people these people have like barely any health these people have such little health that the minigun actually insta kills them so let's kill that dude and then the last dude over there and now let's just demolish this boss with this minigun and there we go super easy peasy now let's grab the key and let's also grab the food gun inside so let's unlock this there we go grab this food gun and i'm pretty sure they fixed it so let's see if we can put in our backpack i'm hoping that we can because previously it was glitched and we couldn't like whenever we put in our backpack it would not be there anymore but hopefully it remains in there this time anyway let's also make sure we grab our minigun i don't think this place has any loot either anyway let's just keep driving though because we are only 2,000 meters away from the 15,000 meter checkpoint which is the tunnel we're now at 15,000 meters so let's go ahead and speed through this tunnel which actually let's slow down to make sure that we don't crash because we 
you will definitely crash into some of these things if you are going too fast. Overall, the tunnel is super easy. I'm surprised that they didn't make it harder. And dang, we did flip over. All right, well, I guess I spoke too soon. And anyway, let's see if we can flip it over just like this. All right, we were kind of close. And oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I guess we just died. I did not know the tunnel closes like that. That's actually the first time that I've seen that. So I guess you just gotta make sure that you don't touch a single thing in the tunnel or else you will die. I thought the tunnel just closes after you pass it, but I did not know that it slowly closes behind you. Anyway, let's drop back down. Let's see if we are able to get our car. And I have no idea where we are right now, but I don't think we're able to get our car anymore. But anyway, that's the fastest free to play car in the game. Also, if you don't have the Humvee, then you can always use the engine glitch. I believe the engine glitch would probably work better than the Humvee engine, but I still recommend getting the Humvee engine just in case if they ever fix the engine glitch, then you can just use the Humvee engine and go just as fast. But anyway, that's going to be all for this video though, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video.